We chased away the dragon in Minrathus. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows, but... I can't be in two places at once. I made a choice and hoped the center would hold. Minrathus has mages, walls. It's not an open invitation to a dragon. It wasn't a normal dragon. We couldn't even kill it. We just fought until it left. Rok, you know Grey Wardens. Can they do anything about the blighted canals? Maybe not right away. They'll have their hands full with the gods. Just send them word, please. We will not be idle. There are people to save and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. Then I can focus on Treviso. Once we find our footing, the blood of these gods will flow. Blighted dragons, darkspawn obeying the Venator. Maybe so, that's what... Blighted dragons, darkspawn obeying the Venatori. Maybe Solas will know something. When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt in hopes of finding the servants of Elganan and Gerenay. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antam are working for Elganan and Gerenay. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antam want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. 
Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. And they're using that power to hurt a lot of people. The Antarm and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The blight seems to be the gods' favorite tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Elganan would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Elganan and Gilanane planned for this world, then. Corruption and Blighted Slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. Do you have any idea what you sound like? You could have actually saved the world from the Blight, but instead you chose to kill thousands of people with your vanity project. It is not vanity. I broke this world. I am the only one who can fix it. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I don't care what they call me. If they're calling me anything, it means they're still alive. That's all that matters. Acceptance. You are willing to face the consequences your actions may one day bring, because the world needs you. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yes. We found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganan's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solas thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. I wouldn't trust the Dreadwolf, but he's not wrong about us needing a dragon hunter. I've been a warden for a while. Seen some pretty awful things. But what the dragon did to Treviso? I'll never get that out of my head. Rukana stayed. Said he'd be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathus, that's for sure. <sighs> Don't remind me. Fewer people injured, and we wouldn't have to worry about it coming back. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long. Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elganon and Gilanane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. 
So, a Fade expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the Lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> see, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. 